This is a crested gecko, one of the most popular reptiles that there is, for good reason, sort of. But there's also three reasons why they're not so great, and I'll give you three better options that might be better for you. My name's Adam, this is Yoshi, you're watching Wicked's Wicked Reptiles, stick around. So I'm not lying, there are three reasons why not to get a crested gecko. Uh, but they're all kind of lame, and I'm reaching, because these are amazing geckos. So, you see the title, you see the thumbnail, I do have respect for crested geckos. It was one of the first reptiles I ever got, but there are three reasons why they're not great. And there are three better options that we're going to go through right now. Now, crested geckos come from a place called New Caledonia. It's a group of islands in the South Pacific, and they were actually thought to be extinct until 1994. 1994, that's only 27 years ago as of recording, or 28, depending. 28? Math problems. They were looking in the wrong spot. So they thought they were extinct. They went to a different island where they weren't supposed to be. One fell into a research facility. Wham, bam, Bob's your uncle. Now they're on every expo table that you've ever been to when there's an expo. Every expo that you've ever been to on an expo table. This is tough. Why did I do this so late? So the first reason why I think these kind of suck or there's better options is just simply their diet is boring. Now, I normally don't take points away from animals if the diet is easy, and the diet is really easy. We're talking about a powdered diet, something like a Rapashi, Pangea, Clark's, whatever, that you mix up with water, you put into a cup, and they eat it. I recommend that you also feed live insects, that's what I recommend for sure, but a lot of people get away with just this powdered diet, and because all the supplements are in the powdered diet, that's... It. Well, let's suppose you have a leopard gecko. You gotta go to the store, have your own colony of dubias or uh, mealworms, crickets, whatever. Then you have to have the right supplementation. So D3, multivitamin, uh, calcium, things like that. Where with this guy and all the crested geckos that I have, much easier. You put the powder into a cup, swirl it around with some water, and that's it. And then once a week, I give some crickets of appropriate size that are dusted with calcium. And that's it. But here's why I think they're kind of boring. Although they do eat crickets or they do eat insects, which is fun to watch because I love to watch animals hunt. It is so fun for me. It is so interesting. I come down in the middle of the night, like right now, and I watch my animals be active at night, the nocturnal and crepuscular ones. Do you wanna to see top five nocturnal reptiles? Hit the like button. We'll make it next week, maybe. And the thing with crested geckos, they're beautiful, and I love to watch them move around. The babies are beautiful, the adults are beautiful, but they don't hunt in the same way that things like a gargoyle gecko would, or a chihuahua gecko would. Or let's put in a diurnal gecko, uh, say a day gecko. Now I've got all of these species, and I personally prefer to watch the gargoyle gecko hunt. The chihuahuas are really fun to watch too, and of course, yeah, I mean, the day geckos are hilarious. They're so brightly colored. They're, you know, kind of running around the enclosure. They're super duper fast. Where crested geckos are slower. Sure, they'll jump. That's called foreshadowing. From ledge to ledge, but they don't really actively hunt. If I put in the crickets inside the day gecko enclosure, they go crazy. Now, of course, I have limited experience because I've only had, I don't know, maybe 10, I think I've had 10 crested geckos, the ones that I've produced and over the years, uh, and none of them have ex exhibited this. So you might get one that does. I'm just saying in my experience over the past decade, they're not gonna be as fun to watch feed. So my recommendation, if you wanna watch something feed a little bit more fun, get something that hunts and needs more crickets in the first place, more insects in the first place, Gargoyles, Chihuahuas, Day Geckos. Reason number two that Crested Geckos kind of suck, and I'll give you some better options, size. They are small-ish. Now of the New Caledonia Geckos, they're one of the smaller ones, of the really popular ones in the pet trade, I mean. So just for what I'm talking about, New Caledonian Geckos that are super popular. Crested Geckos, Chihuahua Geckos, Gargoyle Geckos, Lichianus Geckos. A Crested Gecko is gonna be five to eight inches with the tail. Now you can see that she doesn't have a tail and we'll get into that in a minute. And yeah, they can get up to eight inches with a tail, but again, that tail can fall off and it often does. It is not uncommon to see little frog butts like this one 
in the pet trade because it's really easy for them to lose their tail. Okay, more about size. Basically, it's the fragility is the issue, in my opinion. This is why I like things like bearded dragons, ball pythons, where they're not small, but they're big enough that they're kind of impressive, but they're definitely not small enough that they are fragile. I think this is kind of fragile. Now, this is a personal opinion. This doesn't mean that it is a fragile being. Like, I'm not saying that this is an animal that you're going to hurt. Like, uh, you can pet it and you can touch it. Their skin feels awesome, by the way. Th this video is called the Crested Geckos Suck, but they don't. I love Crested Geckos, they're awesome. Oh, and if you're new, I always forget to mention this, but their eyes, they've got these kind of crests on their eyes, and that's why they're called crested geckos, or some people will call them eyelash geckos. So with the size, we'll add the fragility real quick. The tail, like I mentioned, doesn't grow back, where with gargoyle geckos, uh, it does. So you're better off if you don't wanna have an animal that has a kind of stumpy butt, if you scare it, because honestly, you drop your tail so easy. You can get something like a gargoyle gecko, which are less- <coughs> They leap also, they're flying geckos. As I was saying, if you want something that's not gonna have a stumpy butt forever, get yourself a Chihua gecko or a Lichianus gecko, and that's what I would recommend. If you want a big gecko, we're talking biggest gecko in the world, maybe you wanna think about a Lichianus gecko. Way more expensive, similar care, but there are some differences, especially that they're bigger, but they're beautiful. They make a very interesting noise. I wouldn't wanna get bit by one because of a gecko. I mean, besides tokes, this is probably the least fun one to get bit by, but that's not to scare you. Lichianus geckos can be absolutely amazing. It's something I would love to have in my animal room one day, just because I thought crested geckos were the cat's pajamas and then I got a gargoyle gecko. And then I got some chihuahuas and I'm like, okay, I need all the geckos now. Number one reason why crested geckos suck, they're boring. Now, personally, I do not agree with this, but looking at the comments, every time I talk about crested geckos, it's the same thing. Bro, they're boring. Why would you want one? They're, they're, they're not fun to watch, not fun to look at. Everyone has one. And you're right, everyone does have one. And they aren't the most interesting thing to look at, well, to me they are. Every time I come in here and I see a crested gecko, I sit there and look at it. But the fact that everyone has one is insane. We thought they were extinct until like 28 years ago. That is wild to me. So I do not think they are boring. I think they are amazing. I like that they're easy to care for. I like that the temperature requirements are easy, that the humidity requirements are easy, especially now that the misting system is all set up. I personally have no qualms with crested geckos and I love them. This video is kind of the three reasons in the comment section why people say crested geckos suck rather than my own opinion. So if you are one of these people that think they're a little bit boring, maybe you wanna try something like an electric blue day gecko, which is way smaller. It's a diurnal animal. They're very bright blue if you get a male. Or maybe you want a toke gecko, which is a really big gecko. They come from Asia, so different part of the world altogether. And they are beautiful. They make a crazy noise, but they are known for being cantankerous. So, I mean, you're gonna find very few toke geckos you can just grab like this one, unless you're Dion from Reptiliatus. He's the toke whisperer, I'm pretty sure. Or let's say that you want something totally, you want a terrestrial gecko that is really out of this world, but not too crazy to, to care for, not too expensive, easier to find. Frog-eyed geckos might be right for you. I personally think they're awesome. So let me be clear, this video is not supposed to scare you out of getting a Crested Gecko at all. It's more of a, these are the reasons why people don't like them, you might identify with this, or you might balk at all of these and be like, I actually like all those things that people don't like. Well then you're like me, because I have Crested Geckos and I always will. They do feel so cool. They feel so cool. I'll tell you what, one of the best parts about doing this, making these videos, is having these opportunities to hang out with these animals for a long period of time. This video is probably only gonna be 10 or 12 minutes, but I've been sitting here for half an hour with this animal, and I'm having a blast. I love crested geckos. Oh, and the pads of their toes are so weird, because they do have a claw, but it's not very, it doesn't hurt at all. It's it's grippy, but it doesn't hurt at all. But also their pads are sticky because they can grab onto walls. They're amazing. This video title sucks. These animals do not suck. I love crested geckos. All right, and that's it. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think that crested geckos are boring? Do you think that they suck? Do you think this is a dumb video? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to know. And as always, a special thank you to the Patreon supporters. If it wasn't for you guys, this would be way less fun. I get to share extra things with you. You guys get to see discounts on the merch. You get to see uh, insights on the reptile room, how that's being made behind the scenes. 
a bunch of stuff that's not available on the channel. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can be part of that too. You even got to see this video early. How about that? Patreon crew, what's up? And that's it. Because I do videos twice a week, that means that I'll see you on Thursday.